Alien versus Predator. Round one. Fight! Trash talking round! Your mom is so fat, it takes a power loader to feed her. Hey, you killed my mama. Yes, I did. Predator wins! Next round, who's the best kisser? Oh, hell no. I'd rather have Bruce talk like this the rest of my life. And it comes to aliens versus predators. Whoever wins, we also win because you can get your Hot Toys Scar Predator right now at SaitoCollectibles.com. Link is in the description. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Aliens vs. Predator Hot Toys Scar Predator Movie Masterpiece 1-6 Scale Collectible Figure. I'd like to thank Sideshow Collectibles for sending out this to review for you guys. You can pick this right now at SideshowCollectibles.com. Link is in the description. Take a look at the packaging. You can see on the box leaf it has Aliens vs. Predator in the shiny uh, lettering. Aliens vs. Predator that once you hit hits the lighting you can see it. You can see the Scar Predator right there. Has AVP logo, it says Scar Player, 1 6 cell collectible figure, collector's edition, MMS 190, it says the movie masterpiece uh, Hot Toys logo. Both sides of the box leaf has the Aliens vs. Predator logo right there. Uh, it says Scar Predator down the middle with the 1 6 cell collectible figurine. Top in the bottom of the box has the Aliens vs. Predator logo. Back of the box uh, has a big warning label. It's like, it says warning to one choke on this Scar Predator. He'll leave you a big scar in your throat. <laughs> and you have a nice picture from the movie with the crest from that big pyramid. More uh, credit. And once you take off the box sleeve, nice windows showing the Scar Predator and all its accessories. The sides of the box have that nice Predator neck as well as it's saying Scar Predator down the side. Then the back is just that same pattern as well as all the cast and crew of everyone that uh, worked on the figure. Well, this war, whoever wins, we lose. Except in this review. Here we got the Hot Toys Scar Predator from Owens vs. Predator. Wow, what a fantastic figure. Let me take a closer look at it. The helmet is just amazing. He has the signature scar. Dreads are made of these really nice rubbery material as the previous Predators have been made of. Just really love the helmet look and uh, he also has his oxygen tubes which he does take out which you have to be a little bit careful about. You don't want them to like you kind of have to like move the hair around so they you know, don't um, you know take it out but you, you can work around it. It does connect all the way on the sides right here. He does have his nice shoulder mounted um, cannon which uh, he needed to get back in the movie and it can, um, I'll get more into articulation but it's nicely articulated here. It, uh, very, uh, probably the most articulated um, shoulder cannon we've gone in from a Predator yet. But yeah, you can see all the detail in the, in the dreads, you know, nice and rubbery. I really like him a lot. Let's see the back pack of which the med kit will come in. The little switch to turn on the little light is right here which I'll show on here in a bit. But yeah, just this paint apps are just perfect. It just love the weathering. It definitely looks like, you know, it's very alien and ancient. You can see his spear that can hold on the back here. I'll just take this off to show you. It has a little hook right there that um, fits his spear really nicely. I really love the armor a lot. Amazing. I just love it. He has his netting underneath here. The different shoulder pads. You can see here he has his big old metal blades, a real metal, and you can definitely, they're very sharp, so be very careful with these. Get more into that, but yeah, the gauntlet armor is just freaking sweet. I love this thing a lot. And you can see he does have a skull necklace, which it goes all the way around these little mini schools. I always like that the Predators wear their trophies. You can even see it has a little spine that you can put on the back right there. So a very cool bone necklace here. Oh yeah, there's the cord. You can hide this cord pretty good within the dreads that connects um, to um, the helmet for the light-up feature, which I'll show here. But yeah, you can see the little skirt tunic thing that he's wearing is so cool. I love the uh, side pieces right here. as the Shero Ken right there that is not extended but he does come with one with blades which I'll show. Just yeah. Oh and then this is really cool. Gotta show his self-destructive um, gauntlet which you can open right there and you can see all the amount of detail right there. That's so freaking cool. I love that it opens up. Amazing paint apps and sculpt in the legs with the netting and like his uh, leg armor right there which just looks amazing. I love the feet. 
I love them toes, right, Charmus Prime? Oh yeah, pointy predator toes, you gotta love it. And he has the sheath for his uh, metal sword, which I'll show here. It just connects like right there, so that's really cool. Yeah, I l just love every inch of this guy is just so freaking cool. Definitely, I, I love all oh, the little pointy bits right there at the end too, just looks so freaking cool. He has probably some of the coolest feet in the Predator. This car Predator does have a uh, LED lineup tracking light uh, on the side of the helmet here. The way you activate it, of course, you just um, make sure that the cord is connecting, like I said before, to this part. And then you just has a little switch right in there that you just switch a little mini LED lights. Very cool of Hot Toys to continue to do this. Um, and it's a uh, little cord right there. It's pretty easy to hide thanks to the dreads. You can remove the mask for the unmasked Scar Predator look. All you have to do is simply remove both the oxygen uh, tubes that it comes with and then you just simply remove it. And so what Hot Toys has been doing now is that they've been using um, each mask to come with a lower jaw so that way it just fits in nicely without it having to worry. But then they do give you the um, lower mandibles and jaw to uh, place right back in. You do you get two sets of mandibles? These are the one that came on the figure. You just simply insert them in and these are like the semi-open ones. Um, you know, not fully closed but not fully uh, open. Beautifully monstrous this head sculpt is. Like the eyes, the teeth, the paint apps are spot on perfection. And you can see the scar from the scar pillar. And yeah, just I love the paint apps on here, it's just simply beautiful. You can remove these ones and put in the other set of mandibles, which are the really open ones, like his pretty much his roaring. Just insert them on both sides. Now that's a face only a mother can love. For articulation, the Scar Predator's head is on a nice ball joint that can look down really good can look up really really good it's on two separate one is the neck and one is the head joint so it can move side to side you could fully rotate him it, you get more articulation out of when he doesn't have the mask because these tubes aren't connected right here um, the tubes are long enough where you can't move them around and you can take them out right here they, they just connect to this part right here um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you won't have to worry about worrying about the tubes fall out if you don't have the mask look on. So, and of course, the each of these uh, dreads are pretty flexible. You know, you can move them around forward and back, so you can pose his hair. I guess his hair any way you want. Now this, um, this little shoulder cannon is super articulated. You can move this back and forth at this joint right here. And then this joint, not only does it rotate, it uh, pivots forward and back, and also pivots forward and back at this joint right here. And then it also rotates um, at this top part right here, and then the, the top part of the shoulder can, you can cock it back and forth, which is really cool. So lots of ways you can pose it like in non-firing mode or firing mode, so you can have it you know, shoot whichever way, which is awesome. Now his arms, uh, the shoulder pads you can full, uh, lift up so you can rotate his arms uh, 360 degrees um, and you can go in and out that much. His elbows do bend, nice tight joints and they do rotate at the elbow. Just be very careful with the netting, you don't want to like rip it or anything. The wrists do fully rotate. You go in and out. Uh, he does um, have waist articulation which uh, rotates um, it almost rotates 360, but because of oh yeah, because of this part in the back, it won't fully rotate. Um, so, but it does move where you can move left and right, and you can kind of move it um, like pivot side to side a little bit. Now the legs do uh, go up really high and back really forward. It's on some nice ball joints, so you can fully uh, you can almost do the splits with this guy. So he has some really good hip articulation, and then the legs do. Bend, ugh, very tight joint, um, and they do rotate at the knee right there. And he does have some nice ankle articulation that almost, yeah, um, pretty much like fully rotates, pivots forward and back, and a little ankle pivot. Now, the Scar Predator does come with quite a bit of accessories. He comes with 
uh, instruction manual on how to put on his mandibles, his shoulder cannon, um, how to do his spear and his metal blade. He comes with a total of three pairs of hands. Two of them are open hands, which they all have some really amazing detail on each of them. Two of them um, are one pair that has some fisted, almost like thumbs up hands. Hot Toys thumbs up because the figure is awesome. You get some extra wrist pegs. You get a total of six blades, uh, three pairs in different sizes. You have the smallest uh, size and then you have the medium size and then of course you have the longest size which I have uh, them in already. You want to be very careful when putting them in there but they're, it's nice that they're die cast metal. I always like that Hot Toys has been doing that. And you saw the sheath that was on his leg which you know has a hole meant for it. Like I said I really like the detail on this a lot but it's this is not just stationary, you can actually remove it. It has a real metal blade that he used and he can't hold it in his hand. He comes with the spear that he used in the movie, which is a really nice spear. It, it has some really amazing paint apps all over it. And I showed you on the back that it has a place to hold in the back. But of course, it is retractable. You can bring it up uh, this much or, yeah, so you can make it really long for the ladies it comes with a shuriken now this is made of a shiny kind of um it's a little bit pliable but i would be very careful with this but it does have some really nice um paint bits on there it's super shiny and so yeah like i said it's just be very careful you don't want to break this and he comes with the standard hot toy stand that says avp aliens versus Predator, scar predator on the front with the adjustable cradle aliens are better than predator we got ridley scott and james cameron directing our movies oh yeah but we got arnold yeah for one movie before you replace them with lieutenant murtaugh and then the third movie used the freaking piano guy hey at least i still have a mama she did my hair it's not nice and pretty it's my last movie they have the worst part of spider-man 3 in it are you gonna call it that 70s predator. You know what? I really like talking to you because it's been a real blast. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Scar Predator is uh, in the same scale of uh, the other predators, like the City Hunter Predator we got from Predators 2. And you can see uh, it is smaller than the big chap alien from um, Aliens, but you can see how much bigger it is than a normal Hot Toys human figure like Dutch from uh, Predator. Now, if you missed out on the first release of the Scar Predator that Hot Toys did many years ago, this is a great way to get a updated uh, version with not only better detail and paint apps, uh, but you get so many cool accessories. Even if you have this version, what's great about this one, unlike the one that came out way back in the day, uh, you don't have to put this one together. It's all built for you. You know, you just have to change out, you know, the mandibles or the mask or everything. And that's another thing I love about Hot Toys Predators. They have freaking so many display options. You can have like so many like different displays with his weapons. You can have them with the mask on or mask off. And you can have it with the mandibles open or closed. You can, you know, oh my gosh, you, all the different weapons. There's so much fun factor in this. The only bad thing I can really say is just be careful when changing out the blades or, you know, uh, just there's so many pointy things. So you might end up like hurting yourself. But besides of that, he's just so much fun. And I, I just, I, I think he has one of the best shoulder cannons of any of the Predators I have. I can't say enough good things about him. You can get him right now at SideshowCollectibles.com. Link is in the description. Uh, I want to thank Sideshow Collectibles for sending out this review for you guys. Uh, and you can definitely pick up yours right now. I highly, highly recommend this figure. For more geek news, reviews, podcasts, more, go to bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Your Home in the Big Way. Check out bkbn.net. Jason David Frank, Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> you human have shown the great skills of a fierce warrior. I will now give you the ceremonial scar of my clan. You have earned it. I already got a scar on my face. I don't need that. I'm Tony Montana. You mess with me, you mess with the best. Well, in that case, say hello to my little friend. No sequel for you. Uh, I'm still standing here. I'm still standing here. You are one ugly mother.